Shiraz with your news briefing. Victoria has reported more than 7,000 new COVID cases for the second consecutive day. There's been 7,172 new infections in the 24 hours to 8 p.m., with 742 people hospitalised and 52 in intensive care. Another three people have died. Meanwhile, New South Wales could be on track to hit 100,000 COVID cases a day as the number of patients in the state's hospitals more than doubles since Christmas. More than 1,000 people are currently hospitalised with the virus, with 83 of those in intensive care. There has been two deaths. 18,278 new infections were recorded in the 24 hours to 8 p.m. Anti-apartheid campaigner Archbishop Desmond Tutu has been remembered as a crusader in the struggle for freedom, justice, equality and peace. He passed away last Sunday at the age of 90. And Surf Lifesavers are reminding us to stay safe around the water this long weekend. It comes off the back of several tragic drownings across the country. The body of a teenage boy was recovered in the Shoalhaven River on the New South Wales south coast late yesterday, while SA police recovered the body of a teenage girl from the Murray River. It's an important reminder about uh, what can happen around the water and the need for all of us to stay safe, look after each other, um, and supervise children in and around the water. That's Adam Weir from Surf Life Saving Australia speaking to Sky. Live music returns in 2022 with Concert in the Clouds, a unique music event with no cues or last-minute cancellations. Concert in the Clouds, exclusively on Listener. In the BBL, the Sixers will be well-rested for their clash against the Brisbane Heat on Tuesday. A washout in Coffs Harbour overnight saw their match against the Renegades abandoned. Star batter James Vince hoping for better weather when they return to Coffs in a week. The crowd was... Nice and full early on, so um, yeah, obviously disappointing not to get out there, but in the end, not much we can do about it. And in the A League, Adelaide United have proven their depth. The Reds taking a 4 0 win over the Wellington Phoenix overnight, despite having three players sidelined due to COVID. Selling the family home. Cloudy today with a max of 24 degrees. Dropping to 11 tonight, then partly cloudy and 21 tomorrow. Cloudy on Tuesday with a shower or two for us on Wednesday. The Listener app is the new home of your local news. Join now to listen live or on demand.